Hello, Namaste, and welcome. I am Sirius Singh, Senior Lecturer Researcher in Sanitation at IHE Delft Institute for Water Education, and I am the coordinator for this course, Water and Sanitation in Urban Humanitarian Context. This course has been developed with extensive support from the two prominent humanitarian actors, International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, and Solidaritas International. And I express our sincere gratitude to all who were involved in the development of materials for this course. The theory is blended with practical examples from the field for enhanced learning and making the course interesting. This course has been divided into three major topics. The first is urban humanitarian context, where you will learn about major humanitarian crises affecting urban areas and look at six specific types of urban crisis. You will explore several complexities, themes within urban humanitarian context in contrast with rural or refugee settings, as well as good practices of response in urban context. Finally, you will learn about the urban competency framework, which comprises of 12 behavioral and professional competencies. The second topic is water and sanitation system, where we look at these in a systemic approach. Firstly, we look at water system covering water source, water treatment, and water transport and distribution. Secondly, we follow the sanitation value chain and explore off-site sanitation systems or wastewater system covering wastewater collection and treatment. Thirdly, we look at on-site sanitation system or fecal sludge and that covers fecal sludge emptying and transport and treatment. Please note that user interface containment component of the sanitation value chain is not covered in this course. Stakeholders are important elements of a system and we look at their roles and engagement for sustainable water and sanitation service provision. And finally, we will also look at alternative energy supplies for water and sanitation. The third topic is on planning for a water and sanitation response. And in this topic, you will learn about sustainability approach for urban water and sanitation and standard steps that are context analysis, needs assessment for developing a response plan or project plan using log frame. We also highlight the need of integrating humanitarian and developmental needs while developing a long-term response. After completing the course, you should be able to discuss complexities in an urban humanitarian context, you should be able to outline the competencies and accompanying behaviors that underpin effective action in urban humanitarian contexts. You will be able to explain water and sanitation system and various options technologies at each component of the system. And these are contextualized for an urban humanitarian context. And finally, you should be able to develop a water and sanitation response plan long term incorporating humanitarian and developmental needs thank you and i hope that you would enjoy the course